sometimes you discover so much problems and resistance and difficulties and then I, I just think of myself as a rhino like you know you just cannot stop me I'm just going to push and to just continue till I get what I want I don't accept anything work is absolutely like a play for me or a sports or competition fights War. We have a very nice group of uh, dropouts. <laughs> I'm joking, but I mean, a lot of art people, they come uh, from design architecture school or art school. Uh, but you also have like goldsmiths and welders and carpenters. So it's a, it's a, a very mixed group. I think everyone likes to, to build stuff and to build it fast and that's like, it's a dynamic. So if at the end of the day everyone looks around and says, yeah, we made something. I, I'm the most proud of the, the more difficult things where everyone said, it's not a good idea, it's not a good artwork, or it's too complicated, it's too expensive, it's too big, it's, you know, you should not do it. And then I do it and it becomes wonderful. So I created this city for slaves and the idea was to create a utopia and dystopia at the same time. So how can you make uh, as much money as possible how you can use the human being. And at the same time, it was a utopia because it was zero carbon footprint. It was organic food. Everything is being calculated and the decisions are being made on basis of efficiency and not on basis of uh, ethics or ideology. So this contradiction is always present. The good and the bad, the beauty and the ugliness the rational, the irrational. So these contrasts, they always fight within my work. I love basically everything that a human makes. I mean, I'm not really fond of trees and mountains and stuff like that because, I mean, I like stuff that is being touched. I think, I mean, if you only try to make things beautiful, it just becomes boring. Ugly design is something that is needed. <laughs> 